Well then, it looks like this update is going to be a lot bigger than what people thought it was, which is good. Rockstar have officially revealed the Gaio Perico heist, in which, according to them, you're taking on an entire island that seems to be run by the world's biggest drug dealer. Visually, this place looks interesting. I would have first assumed that it was in the Pacific Ocean, but the look reminds me more of maybe someplace in the Caribbean, although it might take inspiration from multiple locations. Someone pointed out to me on Twitter that this sign is similar to one in Colombia, but if this is supposed to be anywhere in the Caribbean or Colombia or wherever, then maybe you do reach this via a loading screen, because as far as I know, Los Santos is along the Pacific Ocean, not the Caribbean. But besides the fact that we're getting this island, we're also getting a radio update as well. How does 100 new songs sound? I wonder what kind of music they'll be adding. I think we'd all love it if some of our favorite genres made it in, but seeing as how much electronica and modern synth pop have already been added, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up with more of that for at least part of this update. Rockstar really likes that type of music now. Then again, they really always have, haven't they? But yeah, I mean, this is just an update. A massive one, clearly. And it's almost like a practically new game all its own. And the nice thing is that, according to Rockstar, even though this is for GTA Online, you don't need other people to do this with. It could be done on your own. That's actually really surprising, because I remember talking to one of my friends about this, and he was talking about how he wished some of the heists could be done on our own. Though I'm sure going solo will have its own disadvantages. If you bring more people along, you might be able to carry off more money and the other valuables that they said we'd be able to take off with. If it's just you, you're probably going to be limited to only bringing a certain amount. And given how enemy AI is in GTA Online, probably everybody you come across is going to be able to do a headshot on you instantly. So having backup is probably going to be a good idea regardless. You know, whatever you think of GTA Online, you gotta hand it to Rockstar. They've obviously put a ton of effort into this update. A new location and a hundred new songs is not what I would have expected for any kind of update. That costs a lot of money to do, especially licensing those songs. But this game has had a serious amount of longevity to it. Seven years and counting, and people are still playing it. You may not like GTA Online, you may be bored of it yourself, but it's definitely not a dead game by any means. Tons of people still play it every day. And with this, Rockstar are at least trying to make it feel more fresh now. And an update like this is definitely a way to extend the lifespan of the game. It's already gone far beyond what anyone's probably expected it to, and if people keep on playing it like they have been, then Rockstar probably wouldn't even have to release another game again, or at least not for a very long time. Just keep updating GTA Online and have one big substantial update every few years or so. Now, that's not to say that Rockstar would actually do that, though. I'm sure new GTA is in development. But with GTA Online making as much money as it is and being as popular as it is still, there's clearly no rush to make a new one. Before I end this video, I want to say one more thing. I really don't think this quote-unquote island map leak from a few weeks ago is the same as the new island that we're getting in the update. Now, that might be a given for some, but evidently not for everyone. I've already seen a few people saying that this is it, but for one, I think we already have the map. It was shown off in the teaser. Secondly, why would something that was paired with Vice City be paired with Los Santos instead? Not that I'm saying this is even real, but imagine if it was. I mean, what, are they just going to forget about ever releasing a full GTA 6 and they're just going to limit it to map updates? Like, oh yeah, eventually they'll get around to adding Vice City. Unless GTA 6 was cancelled and now they're just slowly adding whatever they made for it to GTA Online, then... No. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Are you excited to play it? What do you think Gaio Perico is based on? And what new music would you like to see included in the new radio songs? Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. Bum 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 bum